Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Get Your Play Online. Um, my name is Haley. So excited to be back with you all here today. It is your 7 p.m. bedtime story, and let me show you what we're going to read today. I can't wait to share it with you guys. So this story is called How Full Is Your Bucket? And the cool thing about this story is that it's just for kids. All of you guys, that's the best. So How Full Is Your Bucket? And it was written by Tom Rath and Mary Reckmeyer. So there's two authors. That means there's two people who worked together to write this book. And then they also told us who illustrated the book. And that is Maury J. Manning. So that means that Maury um, drew all the pictures that we're gonna see inside and on the cover. So I wanted to show you guys how you can see if you're gonna like a book or if you're interested in reading a book. What can you do before you maybe buy a book or you pick one up at the library? What can you do to see if it's something that you wanna read? There's a lot of options. So the first thing is you can look at the cover and you can see if you like the picture on the cover. So I'll show you guys the cover. It looks like maybe we've got our main character here. We'll find out his name inside the book. Cool, and we see a bucket, which makes sense because our book is called How Full Is Your Bucket, right? Okay, another thing you can do is check the back of the book. Sometimes the authors put some words on the back of the book. So this one says, when Felix wakes up one morning, he finds an invisible bucket floating overhead. A rotten morning threatens his mood and his bucket. Drop by drop. Can Felix discover how to refill his bucket before it's completely empty? Hmm. So that on the back kind of shows you maybe what the story is going to be about. Some authors even write on the inside cover too. So we can read that one as well real quick. Every moment matters. Each of us has an invisible bucket. When our bucket is full, we feel great. When it's empty, we feel awful. Yet most children, and many adults too, don't realize the importance of having a full bucket throughout the day. And how full is your bucket for kids? That's the story we're going to be reading today. Felix begins to see how every interaction in a day either fills or empties his bucket. Felix then realizes that everything he says or does to other people fills or empties their bucket as well. Hmm. Follow along with Felix as he learns how easy it can be to fill the buckets of his classmates, teachers, and family members. Before the day is over, you'll see how Felix learns to be a great bucket filler and in the process discovers that filling someone else's bucket also fills his own. How many buckets will you fill today? Wow. Okay, I don't know about you guys, but that made me so excited to read this story. So let's go ahead, open it up, and let's get started, okay? So how full is your bucket, cool kids? All right, so there's that cover we just read. Another title page. And here we go. All right. Felix was putting one of his last blocks on his tower when his little sister came in. I want to build with you, she said. Felix scowled. Mm. Go away. You're too little. Oh man, so that must be Felix, our main character, right here, and he's building his tall block tower with blocks of so many different colors, and that's his little sister who wants to build, and he said, mm-mm, go away. Over here, we have a little dog, whoops, laying on the ground with the basket of bucket, or <laughs> with the basket of blocks. <laughs> All right. Okay. Stay back. You'll knock it over. I'm big. I can be very careful. Go play with your baby toys, Anna. Felix. Look, she's got angry thoughts about Felix right here. 
in her mind look that's what she thinks her brother looks like and Felix is like no and then thwack she knocks over his tower that was not very nice but it also wasn't very nice of Felix to say no you can't play with me oh, they are not happy with each other right now they said Grandpa! Grandpa shook his head. Felix, you just dipped from your sister's bucket. Like everyone else, Anna has an invisible bucket. When it's empty, she feels bad. But when it's full, she feels great. Didn't you ever notice your own bucket? Invisible bucket? Hmm. Sometimes Felix couldn't quite tell when his grandfather was joking. Here's your picture of the grandpa comforting Anna, the little sister, and Felix is like, I can't tell if you're kidding, Grandpa. What are you talking about invisible buckets? What does that mean? Okay. Next page. But the next morning when Felix woke up, there it was, a small gray bucket floating above his head. Can you guys find the bucket? Where is it? I see it right here, right above Felix's head when he woke up in the morning. Let's find out if it stays all day long. When Felix came down to have breakfast, his mom was in a hurry. I've got a meeting this morning and it's almost time to go. Anna, sit still. Looks like mom's trying to do Anna's hair and she's wiggling around. And uh-oh, friends, look at Felix. Do you guys see something bad that's about to happen? Yikes. Okay. Felix slipped and Choco Wheat scattered across the floor. Felix, yelled his mom, you should have used the stool to reach that. Whoa, look, the Choco Wheats are spilling. And look, Felix still has the bucket, so it stayed. Felix could feel his bucket tip and big invisible drip spill out. Drip, drip. Ha ha, Anna laughed as she crunched the cereal with her toe. Drip. Get the broom and clean that up before you miss the bus, scolded Mom. With the bus honking, Felix quickly swept up the choco wheats and grabbed the last blueberry muffin. But before he could even take one bite, uh-oh, we got a dot, dot, dot. That means to be continued. What's going to happen? There's that big mess and he's rushing to clean it up. All right, so it said on the last page, he got the last blueberry muffin, but before he could even take one bite, Buster jumped up and grabbed the muffin right from his hand. Drip. There's Buster. Buster must be the dog, and he grabbed the muffin from his hand. And now it looks like Felix is walking onto the school bus, and these bubbles are things that his classmates are saying about him. So let's read them. Hey, look at Felix's new backpack. My baby brother has one just like it. Drip. Psst, Felix, psst, Felix. They're whispering about him. Drip. Watch out, shrimp. Drip. Are these comments very nice? No, they are not. They are not. Every time someone's saying something not very nice to Felix, water is coming out of his bucket, dripping out. It was still morning and Felix's bucket felt almost empty. Oh no, so what is he going to feel like when his bucket's empty? Can you guys see his bucket there? Right here. And it's almost completely empty. Oh, and look at his face. What do you guys think Felix is feeling with his eyebrows all screwed?
scrunched up like that and a big frown on his face. What do you think he's feeling? Probably not very good. But that's what happens when your bucket's almost empty. As he watched his classmates walk into the room, he secretly hoped they would trip and fall. That's what it feels like when you have an empty bucket. Oh, he just does not feel good at all. Look at him sitting at his desk so angry, so sad. I hope that his bucket gets filled back up. Let's find out. Felix slumped into his seat and waited for something else bad to happen. Miss Bumpernickel walked slowly up to his desk and handed him a paper. He could hardly bear to look. That means he was expecting it to be something bad. Felix, you wrote a wonderful story, said Miss Bumpernickel. Would you please share it with the class? Felix grinned. He smiled and felt a big drop land right in his bucket. Drop! <laughs> and now here's Felix on the next page, standing up in front of the class, reading his story that Miss Bumpernickel said was wonderful. And look, as he's reading it, I see drop, plop, plink, drop. It looks like more drops are going into his bucket. And here's what Felix is saying. The, the Gigantosaurus Rex, who wanted a pet, by me, Felix. The class grew quiet. They laughed at all the right places and oohed at the scary parts. When Felix finally read, the end, everyone clapped, even Emily, who sat next to him and didn't usually like dinosaurs. Felix felt a whole shower of drops land in his bucket. Maybe the day wouldn't be so bad after all. Aw, so his classmates liked his story just like Miss Bumpernickel. It made him feel good to read it in front of them. All right, so now, looks like more people are saying things to Felix and more drops are going into his bucket. So let's see, this first one right here, Felix has a note that came out of his lunchbox that says, love you from mom. And it looks like he's sitting with a friend at lunch. Drop. Team captains today are Veronica and Felix. Drop. Nice cow. It's a dog. Well, nice colors there, Felix. That looks like he's in art class. You guys see. And cool laser ant backpack, Felix. Oh, she likes this backpack. Look at his bucket, friends. It is filling up, filling up all the way to the top. All right, now our next page says, by afternoon, Felix's bucket was nearly full. At recess, when he looked around, Felix suddenly realized that his grandpa was right. Everyone else had a bucket too. You guys, check it out. So there's Felix right there with the kind of reddish hair and his bucket is almost full to the tippy top. And then look, I'll go like this so you can see. All of those friends have buckets too. Wow, some of them are full, some of them are empty, but everyone at the recess has a bucket just like Felix. Let me help you. Drop, drop. So he helped a teacher who had dropped his, his papers and that put drops into his bucket. Here's your baseball, catch. Thanks, dude. Drop, drop. Hi, I'm Felix. First day? Yes, I'm Amir. Drop, drop. The strange thing was that for every drop, he helped put in someone else's bucket. He felt another drop in his own bucket. Look at Felix looking up at his bucket. That is almost so full. It's almost overflowing. 
Wow. So every time that Felix is helping somebody else and making them feel better, it makes Felix feel better too. Hmm. Interesting. All right. When Felix burst in the doors after school, he shouted, You were right, Grandpa. I do have a bucket. And I understand how it works. Then he saw Anna's torn doll. Bad dog, he almost scolded. But then he thought, dogs might have invisible buckets too. Your doll will be okay, Anna, said Felix. Mom will fix her. Until then, do you want to help me build the tallest building in the world with my blocks? So even though him and Anna were kind of fighting a little bit like siblings do in the morning, now that he understands about the bucket, he's trying to help Anna feel better about her torn doll by asking her to build a big block tower. And so they did. Look at them working together and look guys, what do you see in common about their two buckets? They are full, full, full. That is so good. And you guys, you guys, that is the end of this story. But I wanted to flip back and try to find my favorite picture from this book and see if you guys see anything in it. Okay, let me try to flip and find it. I love, oops, I love the one right here when Felix sees that everyone else has buckets for the first time. So out when he's at recess. So let's try to find the people that Felix helped. Okay, so see first if you can find the teacher who dropped his papers. When you see him, keep it in your brain. Okay, think about if you saw the teacher who dropped his papers. Did you find it? I found it. Right there. Do you see the papers? Whoopsies. Do you see the papers on the ground? Yes. Okay, look. And then we remember from our next page that Felix helped to pick them up. Okay, then Felix helped people who were playing with a baseball that dropped a baseball. So we'll scan again and see if you can find kids playing with a baseball. There's our teacher. I don't see it yet. Wait. There it is. Do you see it? So Felix helped those people when they had dropped their baseball on the next page. And now we found them. Okay, one last one. Do you remember our new friend, Amir, that Felix said, is it your first day? Let me be your friend and make you feel comfortable. Let's see if we can find our friend Amir on the next page. So we know he's wearing an orange striped shirt. Let's see if we can find him. Last one. All right. Here we go. Did you guys see him? This one's kind of tough. He's tucked back here and look, his bucket was almost empty until Felix helped him. So guys, what did this book tell us? It told us that it's so important to be kind to others and to help others. And when you do that, when you remember to do that and help take care of your friends and your family and make them feel good, it will make you feel good too. So even if today was a hard day, and sometimes we just have hard days where our buckets aren't always all the way full, remember that tomorrow, if you're feeling like you woke up with an empty bucket, that you can help somebody else to have a great day. And it might even turn your day around too, just like it did for Felix. All right, well, I hope that you guys loved this story as much as I did. I can't wait until I get to read with you guys again here soon. 
Um, until then, have a great night's sleep and thank you for joining us tonight. Bye.